Hello everyone, welcome to Spin with Chantel. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Bowles Mattress. My name is Justin Lemons. I'm the Vice President of Operations here. Been with the company since 1993. Uh, we're here going to show you how a mattress is made the best we can. Uh, here with us today is David Hashman. Hello. He's been with us 23 years. He's operating our panel quilter. And what that does is the first step in the process to come up with the top comfort level, which are these panels you see here that are finished. To get that, each mattress has a specific height and grade of foam that goes in the top panel. Also it has a fiber layer and then underneath it has a backing which helps hold it on into place and go through the machine smoothly. And on the top each mattress has its own specific panel material, the fabric. Some have cooling agents built in, some have antibacterial, some are just standard, but they're all specific to that mattress and the different benefits it offers. David, go ahead and start us up. All right, you can see he's pulling material from the finished quilted part. It's all one solid continuous piece. To the left, you can see our panel cutter, which takes the solid piece and cuts it into the king, queen, full, twin sizes as needed. David has it, the panel cutter, and it is cutting a queen size panel. You'll see it come down to the eye which determines the width of the panel. Clamps down, cutter goes across, cuts the sides and trims the excess, and we have a queen size panel. Each panel, quilted panel or mattress, has its own design pattern as well. So you can see the quilt pattern in this is a continuous quilt. All right, after it comes off our panel quilter, you can see how it's unfinished still. It has open, it's open on the sides and on each end as well. In order for us to work with it in production, we'll send it through a finishing process which is surging. You can see how it's sewn together here. That's a surge. And then on some of them we also add this during the surging process which is a flange piece. And depending on whether it has the flange or not will be if it's going to be glued to the mattress or use a staple or a, a hog ring to, to clamp it down. Without the flange it's going to be glued. With the flange it's going to have an attachment to help complete it. All right, the next step in the process is we're going to show you how it's flanged. This one is actually getting us the, the flange piece while it's getting surged. And it goes on at the same time. Uh, this is Monica. She's been with us 14 years. And uh, she's going to go ahead and show you how this machine helps in the process of production. So what we do, we don't have a single station for quality control or a single person. There's an end check where they go through, but at every station we go through each product and check it for flaws or anything that would be defective in a quality mattress build. Okay, so here we are. It's a box ruffler. This is Mary Zahn. Mary's been with us in her 30th year, and she has more years experience before she even worked here at another mattress company. So she's right there with Mike as far as years in a working for a mattress company for sure. She's making a foundation and you can see it's putting the box ruffler puts these pleats in each corner and that'll allow the fabric to come over the edge, the top fabric come over the edge of the foundation. So Mary's going to take the law tag which is specific to each product that we make throw it in and that'll give us an opportunity to scan it at the end of the line when it's completed. Next up is the border quilter which is similar to the panel quilter but we're doing the side pieces for each of the mattresses and foundations. Mary's operating this. If you take a look, the operator will determine which width they need for each mattress and what we need more of or less of and do it to maximize not only the foam and fiber and fabric, everything that goes into it. This will keep rolling and rolling and rolling until it's full with a roll of pieces just like this and we'll take it off and take it over to the border department for finishing just similar to the mattresses that we do, the surging. So this takes the unfinished border and feeds it through both machine heads top and bottom and gets both sides finished, rolling it up as a finished roll 
going from an unfinished roll of border to a finished roll on each side being surged. Next up, we're going to see the building of a foundation. Uh, this is Dennis. Dennis has been with us for 39 years, our second most tenured production employee. He is our production supervisor. What he's doing is taking the top ticking that Mary made and throwing over a premium foundation, wood foundation. After that, he's going to flip it over, making sure everything's nice, neat, and straight. And then he's going to staple all this down to the foundation. All right, the next step is the dust cover. And then Denny will finish it off with the corner guards and then throw it on the line for a complete foundation ready to go. Alright, this is Steven. He's our tape edger right now. He's tape edging of mattresses. Uh, he's been with us for three years. Does an excellent job in his position. This machine can flip the mattresses. It moves the mattress around the production member, whereas the other one we have, we'll see later, the manufacturing employee moves around the mattress. Dwayne's going to grab a bale of 528, which is a type of spring we use, and it's a twin size. There are 16 inner springs in this one crate. You can see what kind of pressure they are under in such a thin package. So in order to get these open, we have to use the plate and to drop down to the top of this bale and he'll pop open each of the straps and then raise it back up and he'll show you how that's done here. Next up, we're, in the, we're still in the pre-production area, production prep. You can see all the different materials we have stored back here that are accessible for items that will go on next. Uh, on the production line, you can see we have a mattress. It's actually going for Butler University. These are dorm mattresses for them. Uh, you can see it's a two-sided mattress. So we'll put these layers on attached with a hog ring, of course, because it has the flange, and flip it over and do the other side just the same, and then this border will go around the edge of it with the matching fabric and, of course, the lock pack. And that is fed down the conveyor line to our production crew, and they put, pull one off on their table and build it to the specs that we have for each product. Now we're in production. We're going to see the buildup for a foam-encased mattress. For our foam encased, we use a pocketed coil, which you can see is wrapped up. They're going to open this new roll. There's eight king pieces inside that roll. You can see it's all compressed nice and neat. So we see Devin, who's in process. The first step is to get the fiber base. We also use a foam base. We switched to fiber due to foam supplies being scarce at one time. And we're getting ready the first of the year to switch back over to foam. They both are quality pieces and offer the same uh, function. So the first step is to put the, the base on the table and then he's going to get 
the foam rails which will encase the inner spring and they will be glued to the base. This is Devin. Devin's been with us for about two and a half years. What he's doing now, he's opening the pocketed coils that go inside the finished foam encasement that he just made. Here we are, this is uh, one of the Butler mattresses we saw in pre-production back there. It's coming up, this is Walter. Walter's in his 30th year with us, getting ready to officially retire at the end of this year. Congratulations, Walt. We do hope that he continues to come back as a visitor and help us with production as, he, as, he, as time permits. But we're extremely happy for Walt, He's been a good friend of the company and a great employee. It's very important during this process, he's putting multiple hog rings across this to attach the material. What that does, it helps keep, keep it from stretching or bowing in, it keeps it tight, a tight surface will offer for a longer lasting mattress. This, this has two layers of insulator, which is the first one. This thin layer, which is a Textron, Duon, Scrim, whatever you want to call it, it's different names in the industry. And then a shoddy pad, or we all call it the JXF pad. So those are both insulators as well as support from the foam reaching the inner spring. And this uses an unquilted panel. So the support, the, the comfort layer comes from this one inch piece of foam. He centers the, the nylon panel on the mattress. He takes his fastener tool, the hog ring gun, and goes around to each corner, centering the panel on the mattress. This is Michael Bryan. Mike's been with us for 43 years. But Mike is the gold standard in Bowles mattress. Doing the same process that we saw Walter doing. And again, this is another Butler uh, mattress for the dorm use. Next up in this process is a, one of the final steps in production for this mattress. It is a pillow top. You can see this is a gusset panel that comes up and around a convoluted piece of foam, which gives it that pillow top look. Spencer's been with us for six years. Started working when he was in high school. He dri also drives uh, out-of-town trucks for us as well. And he is one of the primary West Baden builders. You see all the West Baden mats come through. They're craftsmen that sign their name to each mattress on the West Badens. You'll see a lot of Spencers and Jordans, uh, some Stevens even. Some of the younger guys down here working on that. This is Randy. Randy's our tape edger. He also runs a quilter among other. He's a jack of all trades for us. They're going to move this over to the tape edger for finishing steps. This is Jordan. He's been with us for 10 years. He also builds some of the West Badens and does a lot of the glue up mattresses for us. He's building another pillow top model. This is an Avalon. It's a one inch piece of foam and then a one inch piece of the gel memory foam. You see the blue material in the gel memory foam. That's a cooling agent that's infused into the foam. This is the final spot, not only for inspection, but also in production. It comes through, they look it over real well once again at this station, just like every other station. Decide, they scan it where it goes in our computer system to show us produced. Kenny is our newest employee. Kenny's been with us for a couple months now. 
and he's putting on the label for this particular mattress. Now from there, this mattress will get a blue boot, which helps aid in the delivery process. So if in case it gets dragged on the ground, it'll stay clean. So after he gets the label, it's been scanned, it gets the boot, he'll put the warranty in there as well. And that's a 10 year warranty mattress. Kenny's gonna put those on the... Those go in, then send it through our bagging machine, our wrapper. It comes down, it seals the end, the open end there, also cuts it. This will come down on each side and seal each side and cut the excess fab or film as well. All right, so this is Steven at the end of the wrapper, been here three years. You saw him down at the tape edge a minute ago, now he's here at the end of the line helping with the finished mattresses. And then we'll put on the side to keep it clear what it is. Queen Charleston, and that is it. So here we are in the warehouse where all the, you can see some finished product as well as some uh, adjustable bases. Different things are kept out here. This is our truck. This is door three where we load all of our out-of-town trucks. This will be going out Monday to northern Kentucky, Cincinnati region. So as you can see, we're in a nice old warehouse building, uh, circa, I'm going to think, 1906, four, somewhere in that range, over 100-year-old building. And what's unique is it carries a lot of history with it. So something that I think is one of the neater parts, one of the cooler parts of our building is you can see it was used during the war effort in World War II. One of the workers at that time wrote, he who relaxes is helping the axis. So that's just a touch of things that are pretty cool that went on in this building before us. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more STEM with Chantel videos, check out this playlist. If you want to know when JCPL puts out more content, click the subscribe button and the notification bell.